Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. Hope that you're all doing wonderfully and that you're having a good night. Tonight we're going to be unboxing this Pokemon trading card game, Marnie Premium Tournament Collection. I want to draw your attention to how cute this box is before we get into it. Marnie, if you aren't familiar with her, is a newer character in the Pokemon universe. She is a sword and shield character, and I just absolutely love her. This whole box is absolutely so Marnie. We've got these very bold lines with the pink and the black and the white. It's very punk, it's very goth, just like Marnie. Premium Tournament Collection. And look at this little peekaboo art. We're gonna see this on the inside as well. But like, you guys know, when it comes to Pokemon cards, um, I'm not really looking for value. I'm looking for beautiful art. Because I love Pokemon, and I love to look at the beautiful art. So I'm just like loving the box design on this. Marnie is so cute. Like, look at this art. Marnie, I just, like, want to adopt her and, like, protect her and, like, feed her a delicious breakfast every morning and send her off on her way to be a Pokemon champion. So here she is. She's, like, in this picture, in this beautiful art. She's sitting in her hotel room seeing herself on the tournament TV with her, um, Morpeku right here. And she's making, like, a little, like, cute face. The art is so sweet. It really, like, is drawn with the love of Marnie. So, this box says, get ready to battle with Marnie. I love that this is almost like a little, I don't know, it reminds me of like a tetra pack of milk or something. It's pretty cute. It says, in the Galar region, every Pokemon fan knows Marnie, the hometown girl from Spike Muth, who really wants to win the Champion Cup. Gear up for your next big tournament and expand your options with the Pokemon TCG Marnie Premium Tournament Collection. This premium collection contains everything you need to protect your cards and keep them organized before any Pokemon TCG tournament, plus all the dice coins and extras you need when you're ready to play. Rev it up and get your Pokemon prepared for that moment they go into battle. Marnie keeps your team looking sharp. She's so cute. So, this is what the box looks like. On this side, it shows you everything, or I guess it doesn't show you, but it explains everything that comes in this pack. So, we've got one full art foil supporter card featuring Marnie, three additional foil supporter cards featuring Marnie, 65 card sleeves featuring Marnie, a sturdy deck box featuring Marnie, that's pretty nice, a large metallic coin featuring Marnie, two coin condition markers, six tournament ready damage dice, seven Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online, which I'm now proud to say, uh, since my last Pokemon unboxing video, I've started playing this game, and I've started playing the online version too. I'm having good fun with it. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but I don't think you need to be good at something to enjoy it and have fun. And uh, I'm definitely having fun. So I'm gonna open this right now. We're gonna get into this. How this 
just like opens like that. It's so cute. And then this part comes out like this. open it just like this. So here we have the inside. All the stuff I mentioned. Just take everything out. Ooh, look at this. I'm very excited about this. I love Marnie. Contains six days. Our two coins. Very cool. a vivid voltage, a darkness ablaze, a chilling rain, another chilling rain, a third chilling rain, and two battle styles. So, that's fantastic. I can't wait to open these. I'm really just like loving the box. Like the box is fantastic. This is such a cute deck box. Features that really cute Marnie art that I loved from the outside. It was just like a little window of the art and it's so cute. It's gonna sit right like that with the, all of the wonderful cards inside. Honestly, this set is like complete for me because of this coin. This coin is fantastic, so this will be our heads, right? And this is our tails. And you use a coin a lot when playing um, the Pokemon trading card game, because a lot of cards have like, um, flip a coin to see if it does this effect. Flip a coin to see if it does this, or if you get extra damage, or how many times it hits, so... So cute. I think Marnie, Nessa, and Lily are like some of my favorite Pokemon girls. I mean, obviously I love Dawn and May because, you know, but uh, I don't know. I love Marnie, I love Nessa, and I love Lily. These are really neat. These are the card sleeves. So here I'll show you. Put that right there. These are what uh, the card sleeves look like. And they. Can I open one? There we go. <laughs> so they kind of have like a soft plastic effect, and they're to protect your cards. Actually, I actually think I'm gonna take a couple out in case you get any like really special pulls today. You never know. So really cute. I love how everything is like matchy matchy. That's really neat. And then also these are like we got some status indicator coins. Very cool. Put that right next to Galarian Ponyta over here. Now these, um, from my understanding, are like 
they come standard with the Marnie box. We'll just go ahead and open this. Look at this. Wow, that's gorgeous. I'm going to save this online game card for myself because I play that now. But wow, this Marnie is so cute. Look at the hollow. Each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. I love that she's in her jersey here. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cute. It's got like her little signature here on the card. And there's three and they're all holographic. Got like that sparkle foil. Look at the sparkle. Everything's so sparkly. And they've all got her little signature on them. And all of these cards, um, this holographic, or I guess this is, is this considered the um, ultra rare? It's like the full card art, but it's the same card. It has the same effect. Oh, so cute. I'm actually going to sleeve put these Marnies over here because we love them. Let's go ahead and sleeve this because this is very special. There we go. We'll put her right inside. Beautiful sleeve. Now these sleeves are hmm, kind of interesting. They have a sort of a soft I don't know if you can tell. They have like this soft plastic. It's not perfectly clear. It's kind of got a little bit of a... It's not obviously opaque. You can still see what it does, but I have some other sleeves that are clearer plastic. So it's like a little... I don't know how much you'll be able to tell, but I don't love that actually. I wish they were clearer. Maybe they're a thicker plastic protect the card. Maybe there's something, I don't know. Either way, Marnie is good in here. She's good to go. Um, I'm gonna put her right here so she can watch us open. <laughs> Taking some more of these sleeves out so we've got them nearby for when we open our booster packs. Also, we've got these dice they're not particularly interesting. They're just kind of standard dice, but, uh, you know, they're cute. It's kind of nice that they match the whole set. We love that. Just gonna put these right here. Perfect. Alright, shall we get into these pack openings? I think so. Very excited for this. I think I'm going to open Battle Styles, and then we'll go Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Darkness Ablaze. We'll save the Vivid Voltage for last, I think. That will be fun. Alright, let's get into this. Now, I've got my little pair of scissors that I always use for opening packs on video because it's just a lot more quiet. I got a little sneak peek of that one. I'm gonna keep that for later. And here we go. Okay, our first one is a Pachirisu. It's very cute. Card is Mianfu. Is that how you pronounce that one? I'm not like super familiar with this card to be honest. It's pretty cute. Then we've got a bell toy. I have a couple different arts of the bell toy, but it's a cute one. Galarian Mr. Mime. Some people hate Mr. Mime and some people love him. He's very divisive, but I like him alright. He's fine for me. Got a Fomantis. That's pretty cute art. 
Yukamori card. 
card. This one is sil- says sizzlipede. My brain always wants to say sizzlilipede, and that's not right. It's a sizzlipede card. I'm always happy to see a yukimori card. Look at how cool that is. It's like really made of clay, and then it's like shot in like an actual rock with leaves. Like, it's so cool. I love the traditionally illustrated ones, but Yukamori's cards are so unique. Put that one right here. Oh, this is a very cute Shinx. Look at it, it's like doing a handstand. We've got a Cacnea. Boneyard. I have not pulled one of these yet. Pretty neat. Timber. Bro, that's really cute art. It's very fanciful. Ooh, look at this hollow colossal. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This art is really gorgeous. I mean, look at the clouds, the way that the fire has this glow to it. It really makes you feel like it's burning from the inside, like there's a heat coming from it. Its attacks are Coal Cannon and Wild Tackle. Wow, I feel like we should um, put a sleeve on this, actually. Let me put that right here. We've got an Energy, a Gliscor, a Sword Word, and Shield Bird. These guys kill me. And a fear. Let's go ahead and uh, put a sleeve on that Colossal, because that's a pretty cool card. I don't really know what the rarity of that is, but I think it's pretty neat. So why not sleeve it, right? Look at that. There he is. Do you see what I mean, how these sleeves seem to have, like, a dullness to them? Like, it's probably very protective, but uh, I prefer the clearer plastics, I guess. It does make it sound nice, though, doesn't it? Alright, we're putting that one in the favorites pile, I've decided. Very nice pulls on that one. We'll put those cards over there. Wait, was it Spellsprout? A reverse hollow, and I didn't even really realize. I must have just been the angle that I'm sitting at. I couldn't even really tell. I was wondering, I was like, why didn't we get a reverse hollow in that pack? Very strange. Okay. We're gonna do another chilling rain opening. Let's go. Let's see what we get. I'm very excited. Sneaky sneak peek. Alright. We've got our routes. I love this routes. It's like in this field of flowers. Very cute routes. We've got a Venipede. It's a lovely dark Pokemon for you. A Boon Sweet. Oh, there's my Lapras. Look at her. You guys know Lapras is my favorite Pokemon. I was really happy because when I got my big box of Chilling Rain cards, I managed to pull one Lapras. And I was so thrilled about that. So now I have two, which honestly is wonderful news because when you actually play the game, you really do find like it's good to have two of the same card in your deck. So that's great. Blitzel. Oh, we've got a reverse hollow Koba Lion. That's a pretty cool card. And Koba Lion is a great card because it's a basic. Its HP is 120. It's got these like very powerful attacks. Basic means like you can pull it out right away without having to evolve it. And 
and when you're playing the game, it takes up time to do that. So, like, even though Cobalion's not, like, my favorite Pokemon, this is a very good card for playing the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up there. We've got a Binette. We've got an Energy. We've got a Spiral Energy card. Peony. And Lyron. Very nice. I'm excited about that Cobalion card. I'm actually gonna put a sleeve on that because that's that's very exciting for me because that's a great card to play with. I have not put together a deck I'm like 100% happy with yet. I'm still really experimenting. So every all wow, these sleeves are. Every new card, I'm like, oh, how would that play out in my deck? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Come on, Kobolai, get in there. Perfect. He's so safe at home in this card sleeve. Okay, so next up we have this Darkness Emblaze pack. I think I've even, I've only, if I've opened any Darkness Ablaze, it's only been like one or two. So there's a good chance that there's stuff in here that is like nothing I've got, so. Keep that a little open, like that. Really excited about this electric and this 
Serena, those are really good Pokemon to play with. And I'm sorry, but Gothrita is going right in the favorites pile. I'm very excited about that one. Put these right over here. Um, those want to fall. <laughs> these two cuties are going in the favorites pile as well. Alright, we've got two packs left. We're going to do the Last chilling rain first, and then we will do the next vivid voltage pack. I'm really excited about um, the upcoming new set that is coming out, I think, August 27th. I think, is that when that comes out? Um, I did pre-order it, so definitely going to open some of those packs for you guys because it's always more fun when we open them together, right? Okay, starting us off, we've got a basic Aeron. some of the evolutions of these so then I could actually use it. Oh, dearling. I love this art. It always makes me happy to see it. A jelly bird. Very cute. A larvista. That's a cute one. I love that art. We've got Marib. We've got Shepet. This other attack up here, Poison Sting, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. This is a, honestly, truly, this is a very powerful card. This would be very annoying to play against, which I like. <laughs> uh, I want to be annoying to play against because it's very good, very good to play. We've got an Energy, we've got Fire Resistant Gloves. Welcoming Lantern and Raboots, which evolves from Score Bunny. I do not have this one yet. So that's fantastic. I'm really excited about uh, the, skull, the Skullipede, even though, oh wow, I did not realize that Shepet is Reverse Hollow. It's just the angle I'm sitting at, the light is not hitting it quite the way you'd want to see the hollow, but that's pretty cool. Reverse hollow shepherd. This is a great card to play. So I'm excited about this one purely because of what a great card it is. Skull of Pete is not my favorite, but it's a great card to play with. So we'll put that one in the favorites pile. We've got one pack left, my friends. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. We're gonna give this one a go. Let's say a good wish on this pack. Please be good ones. Please be ones we love. online card out because I actually play now, so that's exciting. We're starting off this final pack tonight with a Slugma. Um, I recently watched on the Pokemon YouTube channel. They've been posting these like little anime shorts and there was a really, really cute one about a little kid that goes to visit their grandparents and the grandparents have a slugma that 
heats up the whole house and it's very like evasive, it's very shy and the little child really wants to play with the slugma it's a really, it's like five minutes long, it's so cute I really recommend going and watching them they have a lot of really cute shorts, mini stories of like kind of life living with Pokemon anime shorts, it's so cute anyway, just made me think of that Goodness, this whisper is so cute. I can't, I'm losing my mind at how cute this is. Look at it crying, it's like a fountain. Continuous tumble. Oh my gosh, I love this card. I absolutely love it. We've got an execute. Got a woo bat, that's really cute as well. That's a cute card. We've got the Beldum. I think I have this one. Oh, look at this. This is a great card. This is a reverse holo. Is it? Yes. The lighting is kind of weird for me. This is a Carpador, evolves from Cherubish. It's a pretty good card. It's got 120 HP, poison spray for 8. I listen if you could kind of put some stuff together with that uh, scolipede and the garbador for like a poison dark deck for Marty. What do you think? I think so. This is a good card for sure. It's not holographic, but like, look, um, I'm very happy with the Charizard. I do not have a Charizard. It's 170 HP. Look at this attack royal, please. It's 100 plus. It does 50 more damage for each Leon card in your discard pile. There he is. Wow. You know, I, I said a little wish that I wanted some good cards, and... For our last pack, like, I'm really, really, I'm so happy with this. Charizard, you get to go right there next to Carpador. Got an energy, wow, look at this. Charmeleon and a Charizard in the same pack. Okay. Oh, Pincurgeon, I love Pincurgeon. I'm happy to get this one. And a Trumbeak. That's awesome. Okay, we have to sleeve these two. Okay, Charizard, you're going right in here. You may not be hollow, but you are very precious to me. Nonetheless, we're also going to put the reverse hollow Carpador a sleeve because that's a pretty cool card if you ask me very good for our Marnie deck let me take a look at some of our favorites that we pulled today so that we can all look some of these are sleeved and some of them aren't I'm probably going to figure out after the fact which ones I want to sleeve to like build this little deck but uh, do you see what I mean? about these particular sleeves kind of making the cards look dull. Yeah, I don't really like that. A lot of my other sleeves are just like completely clear. So I'm not so sure about that, but like the back is so cute. I guess when you're playing, you don't care as much. Maybe I just, I'm just looking at it from an art perspective that I like. I want the plastic to be a little sharper, but it's fine. So, Garbador, we've got our Scolipede, we've got our Charizard, and we've got the Selectric, Serena, that's a great card, God, Rita's so cute, Cobalion, I'm really looking forward to playing with this one, Kalos, 
castle that is a gorgeous hollow card. Wow. Really stunning. Galarian Slowpoke reverse hollow. And these are the Marnie cards that came with the set. And we cannot forget the real star of the show here. This full art holographic Marnie card. I love it. All in all, I'll say, like, this is a pretty cool, like, thing to buy, especially if you're trying to build a deck, because you've got these support cards here, right? And they come with the sleeves. I think my favorite things that come in this set is the coin with Marty's face on it. Like, that's just cool. You know what I mean? Like, you need a coin to play with, and it doesn't get much cooler than this. And then this card is awesome. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this this deck, this purchase. It's pretty neat. We got a lot of great cards tonight. So I'm happy. And you know, I just love opening these and looking at all of the beautiful arts. I just love it. Well, my darlings, I hope this was fun for you to watch and you enjoyed seeing what came in this set. Uh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.